spacecraft impact. Stations report LOS. The uh, ground stations at Goldstone just reported Last a Last track is 11.35.35.054 seconds. Yeah. NASA has accomplished another first. I guess my summary is really cool. Today we kicked up some moon dust and all indications are it's going to be a very interesting uh, set of results. As we uh, approach very rapidly the surface of uh, the Cabeus Crater. It has successfully crashed a satellite and its rockets upper stage into the moon intentionally to find signs of water ice under the lunar surface. The impact viewed from the crashing satellite was less than spectacular if compared to a Hollywood version. Even NASA TV analysts weren't sure of what was seen moments after impact. Well, it's hard to tell what we saw there. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> but NASA achieved what was intended. The Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite Mission, known as LCROSS, first saw the satellite separate from its rocket upper stage, Centaur, then commanding it to crash 40 minutes later into the Cabeus Crater near the moon's south pole at 7.31 Eastern Time, Friday morning. The explosion was witnessed by the satellite. When the rocket hit, it kicked up debris from the crater floor. From this, scientists are analyzing what was seen. I can certainly report there was an impact. We saw the impact, we saw the crater, and we got good uh, measurements, spectroscopic measurements, which is what we needed. I'm not going to say anything about water or no water, but we got the measurements we need to address the questions. This is compliments of New Mexico State University and NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. NASA and has so photos and video taken from several observatories, and while there, the impact is not readily down, visible, the, the scientists say they have right volumes right of data to study. But now you're more zoomed in, and so now you're looking at higher resolution, and so you can see the the lighter band and then you can see the darker part um, looking around Cabeus Crater. This is at the, the 6.5 meter guide camera uh, with no filter and this goes um, throughout the course of the impact. And so we can look at all these different scales and try and put all these pieces together. I'm also looking at the data from the shepherding spacecraft and also the data from the orbiting assets. The LCROSS team had concluded Cabeus provided the best chance for meeting its mission goals to find water ice under the rocks and see it ejected from the surface during the explosion. Some theories had suggested the lunar pits held vast stores of water. The presence of water on the moon could make future human visits easier. The ice could be used for water and oxygen. Okay, all stations flight, great job. Scientists will now spend the next several weeks uh, analyzing the data collected from LCROSS. Flight products and get the